you took your drone out, you went flying, and you got some beautiful shots. And now you're back home, you open up that raw file, and what do you find? You find that you exposed for the sky, but the ground is way too dark. This happens to me all the time. I found one of the best ways to fix this issue is to use the graduated density filter in Darktable. I took this image with my drone, and as you can see, the sun is setting, and there's this wonderful backlight that's kind of coming through the, the clouds, the god rays that I really liked, but when I got back here to my computer, I realized that one issue is that exposed for the sun, and then down here, all of this is way underexposed. Uh, now I've gone ahead and opened this up in Darktable, and uh, you can see the original image look like this, and then Darktable goes ahead and applies all of these different effects on its own, kind of auto applies them. So if I wanted to, I could go back to the original, but I don't mind what it's done. Um, I don't know, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave that as is. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is come here to my already turned on tab and under exposure, I'm just gonna increase this, the exposure a little bit more just to give us a little bit more to work with. And then I'm just gonna search up here in the search bar and type in graduated, and there we go, graduated density. That's what I want. So I'm gonna turn that on, and you can see that the image automatically changes. And if I go ahead and select this tool or this module, so now you see this line right here. And if I go ahead and increase this line, we can see that up above the line, everything is darkened or the exposure is turned down, whereas if I bring this down, you can see that everything below the line is increased in either lightness or exposure, however you wanna look at it. So this is uh, really good to look at. Now let's look at the hardness. If I increase the hardness 100%, uh, you can see that my gradient going from light to dark gets much sharper versus when it's at 0%, there is a very large gradient that takes up the entire image going from dark to bright. Then of course we have the rotation, so I can rotate this around. And uh, one other thing is I, I can grab the line and move it around. And I can also grab just one of these points and move it if that's what I like and, and my rotation over here updates accordingly to how I, I move that. So I'm gonna set that back down to zero. Then of course I can change the hue. And if I turn up the saturation, and I turn up the hardness, you can see that everything below the line gets affected with this hue and everything above it is unchanged. And of course, saturation is simply just that saturation. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset everything by just double clicking on all of these numbers. Okay. The only thing that doesn't reset is this, this line right here. So let's go ahead and of course, we wanna brighten up what's going on down here in the bottom of our image. So I'm going to increase the brightness and I'm going to decrease the hardness. And I'm gonna increase the brightness quite a bit just so I can see what's going on and then I'll decrease that later on. So let me take the hardness maybe up to something like uh, 50%. And to get that little menu that just popped up, I just right clicked on the number and you get this menu that pops up. So uh, now I'm gonna bring my line maybe up here because these clouds are also pretty dark. Uh, maybe something more like that, okay? Now I'll take the density and bring it back. I'm not gonna be able to get away with a ton here without it looking weird. But that's not too bad. Negative 1.64. I'm gonna go ahead just for fun and add in some yellow, try and kind of make this more like a, a golden sunset here. Okay, so if I turn it off, turn it on, I think that actually adds quite a bit to the image. I might just bring this back just a hair. Not sure if you see this, but this is just bugging me, the, the noise. So I'm just gonna add noise reduction real quick. I'll just turn on the profile noise reduction and increase the strength. A Little bit of noise is okay. And this doesn't really have to do with the tutorial, but just for fun, I'm gonna go over to my curves tool. 
my tone curve. I'll turn that on and I'm going to add some points here. And this is called a shoulder where the curve kind of bends off at the top. And this is called a knee at the bottom. So I'm, I'm giving a knee at the bottom so that there's not 100% black there. And then, so then just to add a little bit more contrast, I'll go over to color balance R RGB. And then underneath the master, I'll increase the contrast quite a bit. And I'll just take the vibrance up as well. Now that I've done all of those, I'll head back to my graduated filter. Color grading is always a balance of sorts. I feel like this is a pretty good result achieved just using the graduated filter and some contrast and curves. So that was an overview of how to use the graduated density filter in Darktable. I hope that this has been helpful for you. If it has, consider liking and commenting on the video. And go ahead and subscribe to the video if you want more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.